Hey friends, this is just a quick video on how I got my 002 to work with Pro Tools 12. Um, so I was given this console and I plugged it in and obviously it didn't work because it's like way out of date. No one uses it anymore. Um, but I did get it working and I'll show you the workaround uh, that I used to get it going. So first I went to Avid's site, searched for the 003 family, and that brought up uh, this top link, Digi002003 drivers. So you open up that page, and you're going to want to get the very top driver here, 1115. So download that, install the driver, and it'll have you restart your computer once it's installed. Once you back up and run and open up a finder window, and we're going to look for these two files here, the Avid Core Audio Manager and the Avid Core Audio Dot Plugin. Now you can search for these in the finder, but I'll also show you exactly where they are. So, the core audio driver is located in the library folder on your system drive. So, let's go library, audio, plugins. And it could either be located inside HAL or DigiDesign. I've seen some people have it in HAL. I actually found mine in DigiDesign. So, that's this avid core audio dot plugin is what you're looking for. And what I did is made a folder on my desktop and drug these files into the folder just in case anything bad happened, I could put them back. So the next file we need to find is the Avid Core Audio Manager. And that's located in your Applications folder. Drag the Core Audio Manager into the same folder as the Core Audio plugin. And then restart your computer one more time. Once you back up and run, let's open up Pro Tools, any session that you've been working on or make a new session. So let's check out the playback engine. Right now the playback engine should show as your current interface. In my case it's a Symphony. But since my 002 is connected and we just installed the driver, you'll see that it's also in our playback engine list. Now my main concern when I found this workaround was I didn't want to really run my sessions through the 002's playback engine, but I found a way around that. So here's what we should do. First select the Avid 002. It will ask if you want to proceed, say yes. And your session will save and reopen. All right, and the console came to life. But you see here, we're still using the Avid 002 playback engine, meaning you would have to use their line inputs or mic inputs and the outputs of the 002 console, which is not ideal. Um, but what I found out that actually works is if we now change our playback engine back to our preferred interface, do the same procedure, it will save and reopen our session again. And now when we reopen, the faders have come back. But also if we check our playback engine, we're using our preferred audio interface with the 002 only handling fader automation. So as you can see the faders move the Pro Tools faders then you can get to automating. <laughs>so I hope you guys can find some use in this and you know revive your old consoles there's no reason we should be throwing these things in the trash can so best of luck to all of you and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave in the comments below thanks